We're Team Anveshak from IIT Madras. Started in 2015, we are a 17-member strong team built on the shoulders of students who have taken part in competitions such as ASME Design Contest and Robocon. Ever since our return from URC 2017, we have been working continuously in our endeavor to build a better rover. This year, we have had significant modifications in the design of our rover. We have switched from 6 to 4 wheels, which not only reduced the weight, but also made the control more responsive. Incorporating a steering system allows for a greater degree of maneuverability. The bi-differential mechanism assures ground contact of all wheels on different terrains. After experimenting with several types of wheels, we have narrowed down on terrain tires. These offer resilience of balloon tires and traction of rubber tires. Transmitting the power through a bell drive isolates the motors from impulsive loads without loss in efficiency. The precisely manufactured components have complemented our calculations in aspect of strength. To meet our intricate fabrication requirements, we have additionally employed several unconventional techniques such as EDM wire cutting, laser cutting and rapid prototyping. The major focus of this year's arm has been on efficient redistribution of power between two of its motions making each joint more powerful when required. This was done by introducing a coupled actuation with the help of a bevel gear differential mechanism. We have replaced the conventional base rotation by shoulder rotation which reduces joint complexity and weight making the system more compact. With the vision of modularity in mind, we have made the entire arm a replaceable module which can be swapped out within seconds. The end effector is capable of holding objects of different shapes and sizes. Combined fingertips ensure a firm grasp, overcoming mechanical disturbances and backlash. Having learned from our previous experience, the electrical subsystem has been designed to be modular and reliable. We are leveraging the computational efficiency of a distributed processing architecture which switches between the processors for optimized power utilization. The Android board serves as a high performance node, whereas Raspberry Pi handles lighter loads. Elements like motor controllers, sensors, and other circuit boards form a mesh network employing a supervisory intercommunication protocol for faster and secure connections. Our rover is powered by lithium polymer batteries with a power distribution system, which features inbuilt surge protection and a remotely operable kill switch. This functions on a separate low frequency band, supplementing the switch on the rover. The rover is equipped with four cameras to give an integral view of its surroundings. Two 12 dBi omnidirectional antennas on the rover allow ubiquity radios to communicate wirelessly with the high-gain sector antenna at the base station. From our testing, we found this solution to be suitable for transmitting data and high-quality video stream over 1.2 km with minimal latency. Further, our main comlink is backed by low-frequency RF transceivers to avoid abrupt connection loss. Keeping inter-platform adaptability in mind, ROS was our choice for the rover software system. The manual control of the drive system is assisted by drive compensation algorithms which dynamically correct the rover's path. For autonomous navigation, we are using ROS 2D navigation stack. Data from GPS, LiDAR and multiple IMUs are fused together for accurate odometry and obstacle avoidance. Computer vision algorithms are used for detection of physical markers in the vicinity of the GPS location. Our algorithms for autonomous navigation are currently being tested for all possible scenarios of the competition. Our science plan focuses on evaluating the collected soil sample for indications of supporting microbial life. To achieve this, we have developed a digger which uses a lead screw mechanism to produce coupled linear and rotary motions of the drill bit. A 3D printed cache container is located surrounding the drill bit in such a fashion that it is automatically sealed on removal from the digger so as to prevent contamination of the collected sample. We are using SHT10 sensor to measure both soil temperature and humidity on board the rover. In addition, we also have a Geiger counter to measure cosmic radiation and a pressure sensor to measure the atmospheric pressure. For the laboratory test, we are performing a Bradford protein assay and a gram strain analysis to look for signs of life. We are also testing the capacity of soil for sustaining life through N, P, K and pH tests. To investigate evidence of water flow, we are conducting tests for sediments such as calcite, sulphates and chlorates. 